Have you ever wondered how sugarcane is transformed into that sweet treat that brightens your day? Welcome to this fascinating journey in which you will discover step by step the incredible process behind the production of cane sugar. In this video, we will take you from the sun-drenched fields to the modern factory where the magic of transformation becomes reality. Step 1. Maturation and Harvesting of the Sugarcane Once the sugarcane has grown and accumulated all its energy in the form of sweet juice, the time for harvesting arrives. This is a crucial moment, as the plant reaches its full potential and is ready to be transformed. In the fields, modern harvesting machines are used to greatly facilitate this process allowing vast stretches of cane to be gathered in just a few hours. Despite the advanced technology, human labor remains vital. Workers during hurricane season in some regions must face adverse weather conditions to ensure the harvest is carried out optimally. Strong winds can jeopardize the gathering, so these field heroes work against the clock, fine-tuning the machine blades and coordinating every move to maximize the harvest in the available time. Imagine these workers with the determination and energy of those who know they are collecting the sustenance for millions. Fighting against time and the forces of nature, their effort is the first link in a chain of processes that turn sugar cane into the sweetener we all enjoy. In this step, we celebrate the combination of technology and human dedication that makes it possible for the sugar cane to reach the factory to be transformed. Step 2 transportation and reception at the sugar factory. After the intense work in the fields, the harvested cane is loaded onto large trucks that carefully transport it to the sugar factories. This transfer is essential to preserve the freshness and quality of the juice contained within the stalks. At the factory, the cane is unloaded onto enormous conveyor belts that move it through the different stages of processing. Once at the plant, an elaborate system of machines and processes is set in motion with the goal of extracting, purifying, and crystallizing the sucrose contained in the cane. The logistics and coordination in this phase are impressive. Tons of raw material are handled daily, and in some cases, as much as 23,000 kilograms of cane are moved in just one day. This continuous flow ensures that the process is efficient and that sugar production is maintained at industrial levels, ready to supply both local and international markets. The Director of Research and Development, together with a team of experts, oversees the entire process to ensure that a high-quality final product is achieved. This process goes beyond simple transformation. It is a true symphony of engineering and chemistry where every machine and every worker plays an essential role in creating the purer and white sugar we know. In this step, the importance of transportation and reception of the cane is highlighted, showing how every link in the production chain must be perfectly coordinated to achieve the desired result. Step 3. Crushing and Extraction of the Sweet Juice Once at the factory, the physical transformation of the cane begins. The first challenge is to extract the valuable sucrose that has accumulated in the stalks. To do this, the cane is cut into smaller pieces of approximately 15 centimeters, making them easier to handle and prepare for the next phase. These pieces pass through a series of shredding machines that break them up and release the sweet juice they contain. During this process, water is used strategically. It helps extract the maximum amount of sucrose possible by moving the sugary solution throughout the machinery. The resulting mixture is a concentrated juice full of sugar, but still containing impurities such as small particles of mud and vegetal residues. For the final product to be pure and of high quality, it is essential to eliminate these impurities. This is where the clarifier comes into play, a kind of industrial filter that, by using water and heat, separates the unwanted remnants. The mass is heated so that the residues float to the surface, allowing special blades to remove them. This is a delicate process in which temperature control and agitation are key to avoiding contamination or loss of some of its valuable sugary content. Step 4. 
purification and crystallization of the sugar. With the extracted and partially cleaned juice, the next challenge is to transform this solution into the sugar crystals we find in our pantries. To achieve this, it is necessary to concentrate the juice through an evaporation process that removes the excess water. This concentrate is then pumped into a crystallization chamber, a space where the real magic of transformation happens. In the chamber, small sugar seeds are added, which act as nuclei for the sucrose to adhere to and form crystals. This crystallization process is an art that has been perfected over the years. The solution begins to adhere to these little particles, forming crystals that grow in size until they become the solid material we know as sugar. However, the process does not end there. During the procedure, a byproduct known as molasses is generated, a thick, dark substance that is also valuable for other industries, such as rum production. To separate the sugar from the molasses, a centrifuge is used, a machine that operates at high speed. Imagine a giant washing machine spinning at 100 revolutions per minute. This device separates the sugar crystals from the molasses, allowing each to be collected independently. The outcome of this stage is the obtaining of pure and well-defined crystals, ready for further refining. It is a process that requires precision and control in every detail, demonstrating that the transformation of sugarcane into the final product is as much a science as it is an art. This step shows how patience and technique combine to offer a quality sugar that goes from a murky juice to the small crystals that sweeten our lives. Step 5. Storage, Packaging, and Preparation for the Market Once the sugar crystals have been obtained and separated from the molasses, it is time to prepare them to reach consumers. This step is crucial because it ensures that the product maintains its quality and freshness until it reaches our homes. The unrefined sugar undergoes a final cleaning and clarification to ensure that all residues have been eliminated and that the product meets quality standards. The next challenge is storage. Factories have enormous warehouses designed to hold thousands of tons of sugar. For example, some facilities can store up to 3,000 tons, ensuring that the product remains in optimal conditions until distribution. The sugar is classified into different types. 20% is reserved for producing brown sugar, while the rest is destined to become the refined white sugar we use daily in cooking. Packaging is another fascinating and surprising stage. Imagine an automated machine that, with almost robotic precision, fills small bags at an incredible speed, reaching 2,500 bags per minute without spilling a single grain of the product. Each bag is carefully sealed and labeled, and in some production lines, the sugar is even stacked and packed into bales that can contain up to 56 boxes, ready to be shipped all over the world. This part of the process is a true example of how the industry has evolved to adapt to the needs of the modern market. With advanced techniques and state-of-the-art machinery, it is guaranteed that sugar reaches consumers in optimal conditions, maintaining all the purity and flavor that make it so special. Moreover, this automated system not only increases efficiency, but also helps reduce waste and optimize resource use. Step 6. The arrival of sugar in our homes and its impact on daily life. Finally, after having gone through a long and complex process that involves everything from nature to the most advanced technology, sugar becomes a product that is found in almost every kitchen in the world. Whether it is used to sweeten a coffee, to prepare a homemade dessert, or to enhance the flavor of a special recipe, sugar plays a fundamental role in our daily lives. Every grain of sugar carries with it a story of dedication from people working together to bring the best of the earth to our hands. It is a reminder that behind every product we consume, there is a chain of efforts, knowledge, and passions. In addition, the sugar production process connects us with ancestral traditions and, at the same time, with modernity, demonstrating that innovation is not at odds with tradition. So next time you enjoy a dessert or sweeten your favorite drink, think about the long journey sugar has traveled from the fields to your table. Thank you for joining us on this very special journey.
If you enjoyed and found it interesting to learn how sugar cane is transformed into the sugar you so appreciate, do not forget to share it with your friends and family. We also invite you to leave your comments and subscribe to continue discovering fascinating curiosities and everyday processes. Until next time.